Hey, collectors, Anthony from Hashtag here. Today we're taking a look at the San family from Dragon Ball Z here. And um, quite a big family it is. And I, of course, included some late entries that uh, will eventually become part of the family in later series. But for right now, um, it's just a whole range of characters from different parts of the Bandai waves. Because they just did so many of them. Uh, the lesser articulate are the earlier waves. And, of course, the more articulate, better detailed are later waves. As you see, we got Goku, Gohan, Goten, Bardock, uh, we have Chi-Chi, we have Hercule, or Hercule, Mr. Satan, whatever you want to call him, uh, B, and uh, Videl. So we'll just go through these as best as we can here. And, of course, we start with Goku. Now, the figure looks weird because of the way the legs are, and I think this was because this was an early adaptation to doing more than a typical couple points of articulation they've been doing for a while. Because the head spins, but it no longer, it doesn't have it up and down that we're probably going to see another figure here. And his thighs just look really weird because for some reason they thought, well, let's do this. Uh, this lasted a wave and then they tweaked it to look more like these guys over here. But uh, he's just an uh, ankle, got some knee, a universal arm, and it goes around. That's it on the arm and then the head. Nothing too fancy. Uh, decent enough for a basic um, replacement for the original figure, which only had like arm and head movement. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, decent enough. And then we get to the next one where you see they improved the way they did the thighs. And, of course, this is Super Saiyan Goku. And, uh, yeah, it looks a lot better. It still has the universal with no other arm pose. You got the leg and it's done the same way, but no twist in the, um, ankles this time. Head moves. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, because you could see how things evolve. And, and we get to other forms you go like... Well, the head goes up and down. Well, that's because that was a later edition. Um, then, of course, a whole combination of different points of articulation come into play when we get to those uh, later forms. Super Saiyan 3. A hard to balance. His face looks weird. And it's always looked like that. It's not like he melted while he was in storage or anything. Our arm universal joint, again, doesn't bend anywhere else. He has the leg bend, but no uh, ankle. And he just his head, because of how big it is, it's stuck to his back. So he can't actually turn his head. Uh, but the goof face reminds me of that episode of Dragon Ball Super where Beerus visits King Kai's planet. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the detail is decent enough on the hair. I think the newer um, the newer series of figures, uh, it, you know, does it a bit better. Uh, a lot more detail. It's just the way it is. Here we have Bardock. Uh, of course, he's a, basically originally was just a movie character, but now he's been tied into the greater lore. And he is one of the basic characters where he's basically three points articulation, the head and both arms. Oh, and maybe the waist. So I guess four. And, and nothing too fancy going on with Bardock here. Um, I, I thought he might have something else that comes with him. But I'm, I remember as, as games go along in the different side stories that uh, Bardock gets updated in some ways. So I don't know. So this was, I think this was the first Gohan. And this is, of course, um, Saiyan Saga Gohan. And uh, he only, he barely had... Well, there goes his hair. Wow, that's really how that's on there? Okay. Uh, barely... Actually, he doesn't even have a head twist. He's just uh, arms up and down in a waist, and his, his feet actually move. And um, well, I'm going to have nightmares about that hairdo. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to have to glue that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically it for him. And then, of course, we move on to his teen form. Uh, this is at the the beginning of the Android Saga ish, um, and he, decent enough short haircut, uh, articulation just the ankles, the arms, and uh, the waist. I guess I was gonna like I'm gonna rip off his head again. Um, yeah, decent enough. It does what it's supposed to. do. I swear I had a cape with it, but I guess it doesn't. Um, so here we go. This is um, say a man. Uh, he's one of the later figures, so of course he has, if not for the skirt, uh, he'd have more than just the uh, knee bend, which, I mean, he has. But um, he also has changeable heads. Uh, he has the head version of him with the glasses and the bandana, but I, I didn't want to mess with it. Uh, just, but his arm is universal, of course, up and down. He can go all the way around if not for the cape. Same thing with the other arm. So really not much more with it. Does he have a waist? No, he doesn't even have waist because of the way the design is. Decent enough. But uh, then we get to the later... And, and the scale is just off on these things. Uh, we get to here, and he has the head twist. 
he has the universal joint, arms up and down. He has the leg bend, but he has no leg. Is They give him ankle twist, and then they take it away. Uh, but they add the head tilt for the later figures. So, I don't know. It's confusing the way they decided to do that. Um, anyway, here's the what the back looks like. Uh, some more detail here. They tried to do like this period of time where they were trying to do the manga like version. Earlier waves, this is Goten. Um, up and down. Uh, head moves. Uh, very little waist. Nothing else. Very basic. So yeah, n nothing too much about him there. Then we get to a later version. Uh, because he's so small, he doesn't have the head up and down, but he does have the left or right. He does have the universal arms to go all the way around. And he has the legs, but again, he's so small, he doesn't have all the bends that modern figures have. And uh, he's very well detailed, because this is the period where they were like, well, let's do a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more manga, a little bit more anime. And, I mean, it worked. It was fine, whatever. This is, of course, Gohan's little uh, dinosaur friend. But anyway, I forget the name of him. Uh, here is Chi-Chi. Uh, a problem I have is the way anime figures or manga, manga figures kind of portray the women as frail and, and like not incapable of doing anything more than just be a piece in the background. So all she has is arm and head articulation. I mean, she looks fine. She looks like Chi-Chi. You would see her and go, yeah, that's Chi-Chi. Uh, but then we get to B. Uh, B, just simple head movement. And, of course, uh, B is a dog. And uh, we get to Videl here, and um, she is a little bit more bulkier than Chi Chi is, uh, but they, they only gave her like rotation on the elbow here and on the upper arm here, so she only has these poses, and barely little leg, very little head, and uh, I mean she's decent enough, but there's just a lot of lost opportunity there. Now um, Hercule came later in the series. Uh, I think he's about the same point as the fusions, um, so which is also the same area which uh, the new articulated Super Saiyan Gohan or Goten and Trunks, all, actually all three of them came out. Uh, he has the knee bend, but because of the robe, he doesn't get much leg movement. Despite the, giving him the joints, universal joint arm up and down here, and his hand actually articulates. So you know he got a little extra out of it. The belt is not soft good. I thought he had a cape. But I didn't see it, so I don't know if he actually has a cape. But, uh, yeah, uh, the belt... I don't know, I think the belt comes off. I think it, Yeah, I think it's like a permanent piece on there uh, that they added. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. And that is it for the San family. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items. Did you get them? And how was your experience with them? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.